What's going on guys? Edgar here with Lifestyles Defined. Today I'm going to do a review on the Blue Wind Jr. Let's check it out. If you're taking me serious. Before we get started, I just want to thank you for coming through, checking us out. Also, links below to all of our various social networking outlets. If you like the video, don't forget to like it, leave a comment, jump in, don't be shy. And always, please, make sure you subscribe for more. Enjoy the video. Peace. So here's the Blue Wing Jr. You can find it for $89 online. Uh, it does have a really nice package uh, for the price. You do get your regular basic things like your USB charger, um, USB cable. Uh, you also do get a few extra things like headphones, which we don't see anymore. Uh, you also get two screen protectors, one already installed, the other as an extra. And you also get a really cool case for the Blue Wing Junior. Uh, and here's the case. It's actually specifically made for the Blue Wing Junior, so it has all the slots and openings for your ports and speaker and camera. Uh, and it's actually a flexible case, which adds a really nice grip to the device uh, when using it. Uh, so really nice package for the price uh, really impressed with that so far uh, if we take a look at the design of the blue wind junior uh, we'll take a look at the left side here so on the left you're obviously going to have one button there and that would be your volume rocker if we look at the right side of the device again you only have one uh, button there that is your power button we do not get the camera button like we see on the higher end devices uh, and that's something that we see a lot with low-end hardware like this one. Towards the top, you do get your USB and your head, uh, phone jack here on top. On the bottom, we do not have anything. Uh, on the back of the Blue Wing Junior here, you obviously get your 5 megapixel camera. But you also get a flash, which is a really nice addition uh, here with the Blue Wing Junior. And then you also have, of course, your nice blue logo there on the back. Towards the bottom is your uh, speaker uh, for using it with uh, phone calls on speakerphone. If we look at the front of the device here, uh, you do get a VGA camera there. Uh, you get a proximity sensor speaker there. Then, of course, towards the bottom, you'll get your back button uh, start home button and then you get your search slash Cortana button on the bottom along with the microphone so so far with the de design it is a lightweight phone um, it's not the thinnest but it isn't thick either and it's uh, again it's really light and the size is really really nice if you are using a 1520 like I am or a device with a uh, 5 inch or bigger screen size uh, this is really cool uh, you know, a really neat feeling here, the fact that you can use Windows Phone uh, 8.1 with one hand because uh, if you use a 1520, you have to use two hands. So it's really nice as far as functionality, being able to use a device with, you know, uh, two hand, with a single hand. Uh, it makes everything really, really easy to, to use and navigate through. Um, but anyway, that was a look at the uh, actual design of the phone. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. So the Blue Wind Junior comes with Windows Phone 8.1. However, there is an update available for it, uh, and that is GDR1, which adds the folders functionality to uh, to the Windows Phone 8.1 operating system. Um, as far as the uh, responsiveness of the uh, phone, uh, so far, again, with GDR1, it has improved it uh, a little bit. Everything seems a little faster and snappier. Uh, applications launch decently at decent times and uh, again everything as far as multitasking and things like that does work really well uh, battery use you will get a full day of battery use on this device I don't have a specific hour range for the battery but like I said it, does, it has gotten me through uh, a full day of use uh, so really impressed with that uh, bloatware, there's none of that on this device. It is an unlocked phone, so you don't have any bloatware whatsoever, uh, which is really nice. Uh, app usage, uh, thankfully, most of the apps that I have on my, on my 1520, I've been able to install on the uh, Quinn Jr. 
And again, you know, keep in mind that some of the applications are limited to hardware, but so far, all of the applications on my 1520 I've been able to install here. Again, I don't have a lot of games on my Nokia Lumia 1520, so, you know, obviously some of the games that are geared towards higher end devices may not be able to run on the Blue Wing Jr. Again, that's something that you will find out once you search for those applications and games uh, in the store. Uh, as far as the app usage, all the apps are here. As you see, I have six tag here. Uh, you know, so that obviously works on the Blue Wing Jr. Uh, I have Twitter here. And Twitter works really well. It takes a little for them to load up, but once loaded, the applications run really smoothly. Uh, so really impressed with that. Again, you have Facebook, um, Smart Glass works, everything works. Uh, MyTube, one of my favorite YouTube apps uh, in the Windows Phone store. Uh, that application works really well on here. So as far as using applications, they run really smoothly. Uh, again, you know, here's MyTube uh, swiping. Everything is really smooth and fluid. So app usage, I've uh, been really impressed with it. Uh, again, keep in mind, you know, the uh, limitations of the hardware here, especially with the Snapdragon 200 at 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. Uh, but it does a really good job of, you know, performing well with whatever you throw at it. So really impressed with app usage. Notifications also work on this device. Uh, obviously, they, they'll show up here. Uh, you can click on them and it'll take you directly to that particular notification. Uh, actions on top here for quick actions. You can actually edit those uh, when you jump into the settings here. So we'll jump into settings uh, and go into notifications. And here's uh, where you can actually change those options there. So clicking on that on here will allow me to cha change it to any other uh, location, project my screen, quiet hours, things like that. You can obviously change the quick actions there. And then here on the bottom, you'll see the applications that are currently using uh, the, not the action center notifications. Uh, so notifications definitely work and they work really well uh, so far. Again, you you know, due to hardware limitations, you may have a limit uh, on how many you can add to, to the notifications. Um, but so far, everything works really well. Uh, again, Cortana is available on the Blue Wind Junior, so you can launch her through the tile or through the, the uh, search button there on the bottom. We'll, we'll launch it right here. So as you can see, the tile actually had uh, text on there, so it's showing me uh, content on you know either my interests or news. But once you launch Cortana, you can obviously go through your news here. Here's the latest on PlayStation, uh, latest on Microsoft Band. Uh, latest on Microsoft along with uh, you know you get obviously weather there uh, and also you get suggestions to things to do and things to visit places to visit uh, you can obviously type your searches here so we can uh, type Windows phone if we want to or Windows 10 we can launch that click on it you get your web results uh, images video Again, clicking on any of these will launch, you know, Internet Explorer and take you directly to that video. Uh, so there's that. And, uh, I think my Wi-Fi connection is a little slow, but there's the video there. So obviously you can, uh, put, you know, click play to play uh, and things like that. But Cortana is definitely there. And uh, in fact, we'll do a voice search real quick. Search for Windows Phone. All right, so there's my search. Uh, we can add remind reminders or set alarms. Wake me up in an hour. All right, so as you can see, Cortana does work uh, just like she does on any other Windows phone. So there is no limitations uh, because of the hardware. Uh, Cortana is going to work just like she does uh, on any other high-end device. So really, really happy with that. As far as the uh, camera goes, uh, we'll launch the camera through here, through the quick actions. Front-facing camera works pretty well. Uh, so again, there's the camera. One of the things to keep in mind is that you 
you will get better shots if you are in a well lit area. That's just something that I experienced. Uh, and I'll show you some samples here. Uh, for instance, these are some of the shots that I took today. That is a well lit area there. So obviously some of these shots, again, there it is right there. You can keep the quality if you are in a well lit area. Another good picture with uh, good lighting. This one, not so good. Uh, again, with this one here, the details are real blurry when you're in, uh, in a dark area. Again, this one was in a well lit area, so you get a really good shot there. Um, and again, with this picture here. Uh, but so far, you know, the camera, there's no zoom, but there is um, uh, auto zoom, and then you can also click, or auto focus and click to focus as well. Uh, so that is really cool about the camera. You can obviously switch uh, between that camera and the front facing camera. So there's a front facing camera. Um, again, both cameras perform a lot better if you are in a well lit area. Uh, front facing camera with Skype calls. If you are in a darker area, uh, I've had people tell me that they couldn't see me uh, or see any details or things like that. And so really keep that in mind when using the cameras. Everything's here, you know, flash, you can turn on and off, auto, lenses are here as well. So you do have access to lenses. The more lenses or applications you have that connect with the camera, the more options you'll have here when clicking on lenses. Uh, but as far as the camera performance, uh, it works well for a low budget uh, device. Uh, you know, you're not going to get any shots like you do on the Lumia, you know, PureView technology camera. Uh, so obviously, you know, those, those are really optimized for really great uh, pictures uh, and also the megapixel count is a lot higher on those devices too. Um, so really uh, keep that in mind. The camera is going to be okay. It's not going to be the greatest. Again, lighting is the key to really getting great shots or good shots on the Win Junior. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the phone functionalities of the Win Junior. So obviously the Blue Wind Junior is a phone. Uh, so phone functionalities, phone calls, I experienced really um, okay phone calls, you know. Obviously with higher end uh, devices, you're going to have better microphones, better speakers. So the quality is definitely going to be better on those devices. But the Blue Wind Junior does get the job done uh, and it does a really good job of uh, performing with phone calls, especially when using speakerphone. Obviously you have a nice speaker here towards the back. Uh, that helps with speaker phone calls um, and so really impressed with that so far messaging again messaging works just like it uh, just like it should you receive messages for instance here I have my messaging uh, everything works well if you want to compose a message obviously click there you can also add attachments to it picture video location voice uh, contact uh, switch between your sims you know depend on what you want to what sim you want to use to send messages but messages work really well also I can show you um, that voice does work here so let's go ahead and do a message here with voice so clicking on the microphone here will allow you to say something and then it'll type it on the phone so there it is uh, again you know it works just like it does on any other device so there's no limitations uh, to what the Win Junior can do because of the uh, low-end hardware. It will perform uh, just as good as any of the other higher-end devices. Uh, so really impressed with that. Uh, and again, keep in mind the price, $89.99, and you're still able to do all of the things that you can on you know, the, the HTC Mate or the uh, Lumia Icon or any of those high-end devices. Uh, web browsing works really well Again, nothing's downgraded when it comes to the web browser. Everything works just like it's supposed to uh, For instance, here's the YouTube video that I clicked on earlier click here to open up your tabs You can switch between tabs here as well uh, We can jump into that one there. This is another video on YouTube again uh, also all the options favorites add favorites find on page share you can share this page and obviously it'll open up your options here for sharing. Uh, if you want to share to Facebook, you can open that up, click on Facebook, and it'll take you directly to the uh, share or to Facebook to, uh, you can obviously add more text if you want, but it'll work just like it should. Uh, we can jump back into the uh, Internet Explorer here. 
one of the cool things of course is tabs if you jump into tabs you can actually look at your other devices so this is one of my uh, HP Stream 7s there uh, this is my Asus Vivo Tab Smart another tablet there my 1520 here so if you want to jump into any of these simply click on that tab and it'll take you directly to that particular uh, web page again you know if you want to play that video simply click on it double tap to uh, make full screen double tap to exit out of full screen and again everything works like it's supposed to uh, one of the things to keep in mind is that video on Internet Explorer will only play in high quality um, and that is due to the hardware limitations. Of course the Snapdragon 200 can only handle so much uh, so video will only play in high quality. You will not get high definition video on this. The audio and video just simply don't sync uh, and is a really choppy experience. But as far as everything else, you know, tabs and browsing and doing anything like that, Internet Explorer works really well on this device. Emails the same thing. Unfortunately, I do not have my email set up right now on the Blue Wind Junior, but email works really well, uh, just like it does on any of the other Windows Phone devices. Um, as far as special functions to the uh, or special features to the Blue Wind HD, there's really there really isn't any. The phone is basically your raw Windows 8.1 operating system. Uh, again, you know, folders here. I have folders uh, called Lifestyle slash IGZ where I keep up with, uh, you know, our, all of us, uh, the staff here at Lifestyles and IGZ. Uh, here I have a group of us. Uh, I can go into uh, what's going on with, uh, you know, our Twitter, Facebook, and things like that, as well as clicking on individuals there. So folders works really well. Um, you know, we can open up MyTube to show you uh, how that application works on this device here. Uh, again, you know, there's my tube. Uh, here we have Ignorant Gamers Halo 5 uh, footage. Click on it to play. And uh, we'll switch it over to landscape to quickly show you how that looks. So there it is. You can obviously go forward by simply sliding your finger. And again, this is playing in HQ. Uh, if you switch it to HD, you'll notice that everything will go out of sync audio and video just do not sync and again the experience is pretty choppy um, so again you know expect that with low and hardware you're gonna be limited in fact the video doesn't even play sometimes so we switch it back to high quality it should go right back where we left off and there it is so as you can see that is you you're, you're gonna get the best experience when you you know play it in high quality so Really impressed so far with the Blue Wind Junior. Uh, for the $89, you get a really nice package. Uh, on top of that, the operating system works really well. M most of the applications are available to download on the Blue Wind Junior. Uh, you know, games and stuff like that work uh, pretty well, depending on you know, of course, how much of the uh, processor the, those games use. Uh, but for instance, we can jump into a game. I think I have Sonic in here, but I'll show you that real quickly just so you can take a look at that. All right, so here's Sonic Dash on the Win Jr. And uh, this is basically the same as any of the other endless runners on Windows Phone, uh, where you swipe left and right, up to jump, down to uh, crouch or slide. Uh, but anyway, just quickly wanted to show you how the game performs. And as you can see, it performs really well. And uh, like I said, you know, most of the applications will perform like this. If you find them in the Windows Phone Store and they're available for download, most likely those applications are already optimized for hardware such as this. Uh, if you're looking into upgrading from a flip phone and this is your first time jumping into the smartphone world, definitely check out the Blue Win Junior. Uh, please guys stay tuned for the Blue Win HD review that's coming up. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And please check out lifestylesdefined.com for more. Guys, I'll see you next time.